that hits a half silvered mirror surface M at point C. M is partially reflective, so one beam is transmitted through to point B while the one is reflected in the direction of A. The figure shows the path of light of the McKelson infrared. Okay, y'all, that's the end of class. Thanks for coming. Make sure to do your homework. Nice lecture, huh? Do you want to play a little lightning gadgets? When is that? You know that new game for learning about light? Uh, you know, physics and I don't really Oh, mix. come on. Try it. It will be easy. Are you sure? Okay, check it out. It's easy. So you have here a laser and a target. So now what you have to do is try to hit the target with the laser. But where are the buttons? No, you don't have any buttons, but you have a mirror here. Okay. Hey, I'm reflecting the beam. So, if I'm getting this right, I should be able to put the mirror here. And then... I won. Yay! In order to solve puzzles, you will have to exploit light properties. In this case, using mirrors to reflect light, mixers for additive color synthesis, and filters for subtractive color synthesis. Whoa, this is going to be tricky. What this thing for? I think it's a prism. Oh, OK. So I'll take the prism, and you take the mirror. OK, sounds good? OK. It works! Awesome! But how does this game work? Light and Gadgets is a marker-based augmented reality game. A camera films a table to locate the elements of gameplay. And the video projector superimposes virtual objects on the tangible ones. We use the 4 cm long markers that we have glued on objects to obtain a tangible user interface. And finally... What the hell is that? Whoa, I think it's a black hole. 